What is going on gamers and Breaking Bad fans? I will be reviewing episode 15, Grand Estate from Breaking Bad season 5. So, let me say before I start this review that this is a spoiler filled episode. If you have not watched this episode, go watch it then come back so we can discuss it. You can get my feelings on the episode and what I think is going to happen in the series finale. So, let's start. It starts off with Walter um, be in hiding basically uh, from one of Saul's guys. Um, and Saul's actually in the beginning of the episode. And he says, we're done, Walter. I'm not going to help you find people to go kill the Nazi guys. And we're basically done. See you later. I did not expect Saul to be affected by all this. Um, it should have been obvious to me, but I just forgot about it. Because Saul is the guy that Walter goes to for everything shady. And uh, I didn't expect Saul to get in the crossfire, but everyone that knows Walter is getting affected. Everybody. Um, and then it skips forward a little bit, and Walt is in Nebraska now. And he is in hiding. He is in a cabin in the woods. No one knows where he is except for the guy that keeps bringing him stuff monthly. And Walter is like, um, maybe I should leave. Maybe I should go help people. He says, if you leave, I did not ever know you. I'm not going to help you again. And you're on your own. And if you get caught, you get caught. Sorry, dude. Um, and then it skips over to Skylar. Um, sitting on her couch thinking about what she needs to say to these uh, Federal Bureau guys that are threatening to throw her in jail for helping out Walt. Um, and she's just thinking, sitting on her couch, and she hears Holly crying. She goes to the room, and she finds the Nazi guys there with the kid. Um, they're not hurting the baby, but they are just looming over her, all, dressed all in black with ski masks. They have Skylar covering her mouth, and she's just scared out of her mind. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know what's going to happen. And then Todd's there, basically talking to her, saying, you didn't tell the cops anything. You don't, you're not going to scream as soon as you leave. You're not going to tell them anything about Lydia. Um, and Lydia is the person that provides Walt with the methylene to make the, the methamphetamine, the crystal meth. So he's basically saying, do not say anything about Lydia. You did not see her. You do not remember her. Because Todd wants to protect his assets so he can keep making meth with Jesse. So... Skylar's like, okay, I won't say anything. And Todd is actually, he threatens Skylar without really threatening her. He was just very calm and put his hand on, on her shoulder very calmly, not threatening. And he said, just don't say anything for the, for the sake of your kids and yourself. And that's something Todd's really kind of good at. He's really, he's, he's, he's a good not good bad guy if that makes sense he's stupid sometimes but he's actually knowing what he's doing in other situations if that makes sense at all um and then it um goes to jesse let me tell you this is the part of the episode where i felt for jesse i feel so bad for him i think he ah oh man jesse is getting the hardest out of everyone he escapes he takes the paper clip that's attached to the uh, to the picture of um andrea and brock and he basically escapes. He breaks out of his handcuffs. And I thought he was going to get away. My heart was pumping the entire time that he was trying to escape because I was thinking, is he going to get shot? Is he going to get caught? Is he going to get away? Oh my gosh, what's going to happen? He gets caught by everyone. There's cameras everywhere. They're on top of their stuff. They basically take him to Andrea's house. And Todd goes up to her door saying, we have Jesse. Want to see him? He's right over there in the truck. And then shoots her in the back of the head. Right then and there, I was shocked. I, I had no words on what happened, um, and I just I did not see that coming. Vince Gilligan really threw us a curveball there and sort of said, everyone that's involved with Jesse and Walt, they're going to get punished for what they did. They're going to get affected by it. And if that means death, then so be it. So Andrea, um, she got killed, <laughs> and... Uh, Brock doesn't even know about it. He's still asleep in his bed. And they said, don't forget, Jesse, we can come back for the kid. And Jesse saw this whole thing. He was screaming hysterically. He sad. He's, he's sad right now. He, he doesn't want to live. Jesse is almost dead now. He really wants to just die, and he can care less if he lives or not. And now he wants to die even more that Andrea's dead. So that's the end of Jesse for this episode. Um, nothing else really. And then it switches back over to Walt um, a little bit later in the future. And he has hair now. <laughs> he has his beard and his hair and his glasses. Um, and then uh, he switches uh, to uh, him in a bar. 
and he basically is having one last drink, sending his family money. Um, he actually called uh, his son's school, saying he was Aunt Marie, but it was actually him. And he, he was talking to his son, saying, we're going to send you some money. Um, I'm going to put your friend's name on it, but it's for you, so just keep it. It's like $100,000. And then Walt Jr. just goes ballistic and says, I want you to die. Why aren't you dead already? Don't ever talk to me again. You killed Uncle Hank. Just die. And Walter didn't want to hear that, but I guess he did deserve it for all the crap he's done. Um, and then it switches from him at, on the phone to him sitting down at the bar and uh, he sees his old friend from college that uh, he helped start the company with on the TV. And they asked him, the reason why you're going into this sort of business is because you knew Walter White. And Walter White has been a kingpin of, of meth. And they said, no, uh, Walter White had nothing to do, to do with anything in my company. And Walt kind of got pissed from that because I guess he helped start up that company. And he said he didn't do anything else but make the name, or help me with the name actually. And Walt kind of got mad. He was clenching his fist. So he might go make some retaliation on that. Probably won't, though. I think all of his anger is towards the Nazi guys right now. Um, and then he left the phone off the hook. He actually called the DEA and said, I'm Walter White. Come and get me. Well, he didn't say that. But he said, can I speak to the guy who's in charge of the Walter White case? And they said, who is this? Walter White. So they stormed the bar. He was gone. And then the classic Breaking Bad opening theme ended the episode. And then the sneak peek opened it for the series finale. It didn't show anything from the last episode. It showed a bunch of clips from all the past seasons, all the beginning, the middle, and now. And I cannot wait. This series finale is going to probably be very sad, very um, rewarding for all the viewers who have been Breaking Bad fans for a long time. It's going to be uh, the conclusion of conclusions for all TV shows. I will say this, Breaking Bad is probably the best show I've ever watched on TV, and that's saying something. It is the best show ever made, I think. Um, there's not going to be any more shows like this. We have one more week left of Breaking Bad, and then it's gone forever, it's over. All bad things must come to an end, as the tagline says. So, thank you so much for watching, fans of Breaking Bad, uh, and people who usually are subscribed to me. Let me know in the comments if you're a Breaking Bad fan, what was your favorite part of this episode? Episode 15, Granite State. There is one more episode left, and then it's and then it's over. It's done. Breaking Bad's it's over. Um, <laughs> it's kind of hard to say that over and over because Breaking Bad's such an amazing show, but it is true. All bad things must come to an end. So um, I will end the video on that, and I will see you all next episode where it is the series finale of Breaking Bad. Until then, gamers and Breaking Bad fans, peace.